Hello, how's it going? So I was watching a Fran Lab video, well she's actually put up two now, uh, a Fran Lab video on this massive, massive seven segment display. Uh, it's an old 1992, you know, near the end of the Soviet era uh, of, uh, yeah, technology. And it's right here. This is the one that I got. I picked it up after I saw the video on it, uh, the first video. And uh, yeah, I got this one for 50 pounds, which included postage. I've looked back now and all of the cheap ones are, are completely rinsed out it seems that everybody's uh yeah bought them it, there was a load in stock when i bought it and now they're all completely gone there are a few still up there for a ridiculous amount of money so if i was you i wouldn't pay that like the 50 quid seems like even you know 50 quid is tops uh, and that's what i paid for this thing and I don't know whether it actually said it was tested on this lot, but anyway. Also, it looks like it's from the same batch as the one in the Fran Lab video. However, she says she's had um, multiple ones, so I only bought one. Uh, I was being a bit, feeling a bit risky, but here it is. Definitely check out the video on hers. But uh, basically, this right here is what I made from it. Um, the, the problems that they were having... Uh, Fran was having I didn't seem to get those problems like uh, the thing with uh, the high transconductance that she was mentioning as high transconductance that was causing the bleed between all of the uh, all of the pixels all of the segments well that wasn't happening with me uh, the thing that I got the the thing that I planned to do with this from the start was not to use AC voltage uh, the Fran uses AC voltage and uh, for the heater filaments the other ones I've managed to get away with using DC voltage the smaller the smaller VFDs uh, so I figured you know it would be cool if this one uh, was easy to use with DC voltage as well in case somebody got hold of this and they didn't have a a AC power supply that would you know send out in the right uh, voltages for uh, you know sending AC AC through this so I decided to challenge myself to figuring out how to make it how to make the interface as simple and as minimal as possible and using you know just a standard uh, wall walk kind of thing that you can um, you know anybody might even have sitting around in their uh, in their spare wire box so to start with this is a 24 volt power supply uh, it's well within the ratings of the uh, actual um, segments a voltage regulator, a 7805. Uh, funnily enough, I did. This did used to be a 7808, which uh, eight volts. It was going to say it was sending eight volt DC into the heater filament, which uh, took into account the RMS. If you wanted to swap, kind of like the AC current going through the heater to a DC current. However, a lot of after a bit of uh, experimentation, it didn't make a difference uh, if uh, using a five volt version. So the seven eight oh five. So the heater is basically on uh, five volts DC, and that's how it is. And um, I did a builder's live stream on Patreon the other day on this, and I had it on in crocodile clips on front of me. And at the start of the video, at the start of the stream, it was working. It was working perfectly fine. I was fiddling around with it. It was really good. And then I took all the wires off and explained how I got to that point before building the buffer and stuff. And um, amazingly, when I wired it back up again, it didn't work. Oh, it was working earlier. <laughs> what have I done? You saw it work! You saw it work! Oh, why is it not working now? And it turns out when I was actually doing it at the start, I made a mistake and it managed to, I managed to get it working at the start of the video by wiring it in wrong. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I don't know how this happened. So I'm going to explain this and hopefully somebody has an explanation for me because it's a little bit odd. It's a little bit odd. So what I've done is this is this rather dodgy drawing right here. So this is the uh, seven segment display. Um, these are all the segments. These are all the segment pins. If you can see this, I'm talking about these. It's looking from the front. So if you look at the website linked, it shows you the pinouts and the uh, the heater filament goes between this one right here and this one on the end. And this is where I initially sent an S7808 into it to send eight volts DC between this with a 10 ohm current limiting resistor. But I've since changed this to five volts and it looks exactly the same. In fact, if anything, strangely enough, with five volts, it does appear a slightly bit brighter. I'm not sure. I don't know. But what I did was, was I, this is the uh, grid. This is the grid. Yeah, this is the grid over the top of it. This pin right here. And initially, you'd think you'd have to wire this up to ground, like wiring it up to ground. But it wasn't working. It wasn't working. But accidentally, at the start of that live stream, it was actually wired in to the uh, the volt the five volts so the grid 
this is the weird bit. So the grid is wired in to the five volts, and then, yeah, and then this is supposed to be talking to these via the 24 volts. So 24 volts turns on the segments on here, and then five volts is on the grid. I don't have a clue what I've done, but it works. So if anybody can explain what's going on, then please be my guest. But this is hopefully an answer for people who want to mess around with this and, you know, want to keep it relatively simple. So what I've done from there is I used the... What did I use? Sorry for the dirty nails. I've been fixing messy things. Um, a ULN 2A... Yeah, ULN 2981A. What this does is it receives a pin command from the Arduino and uh, the pinouts here, you put 24 volts at the bottom, ground at the bottom, the inputs are all down here and then you basically wire the inputs into an Arduino. You also include a step down, uh, a, a pull down resistor of like 10k or something. So for instance, if you were going to wire uh, an, an Arduino pin into it, so this is pin 1, which is, and then the output of this, so there's 24 volts here, and basically how it does is like pin 1 turns on like 5 volts, you send 5 volts into here and it goes, okay, I'm going to send 24 volts over here, which is going to send it into the, into the 7 segment display. But um, also, so this is going into the uh, Arduino pin, but it's also going via a 10K to ground, which is pulling it down. So, um, yeah. Oh, I mean, you can also, instead of doing this, you could also just set low on the Arduino. But if you're just messing around, maybe just put a 10K here. It, it doesn't matter. Don't put it in. See what happens. Put it in. See what happens. Experiment. So that's what I have here. It's very, very, very simple. And if I wire it in... I've done a really dodgy bit of code and it looks really good. It's like there's nothing going wrong. Like that is that is happy as Larry. I'm just going to turn on a, another light. Hopefully this one might be a little bit more tolerant of what we're doing. Ah, that's even worse. There we go. There we go. So as you can see, it's actually the, 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 the cover's even. There's no bleed. The bleed that you are seeing is not from uh, the transconductance. That is just from, I think it's just from blur, from the lens. It's not actually bleeding. Uh, I look up close, it's just glare. It's just glare. So, um, so that's, it's good. It looks really quite nice. If I get in focus here. Yeah, you can see that that is pretty solid. And this thing is huge. This thing is huge. Like, I love the fact is that this thing is literally, it's it's a bit of your grandma's window. Like, your grandma's window on the back. Uh, you've got the, uh, like, con conduct. Uh, elements and then you've got the, the phosphors like screen printed on top and then and then using this weird cement stuff the 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 kind of top which is slightly bent it's like your grandma's ashtray so it's your grandma's window uh, a bit of a, a bit of paint in the middle and then your grandma's ashtray basically glued together that is that is literally the building of this it's just so bread and butter bangers and mash and there's you know there's a little bit to kind of suck out all of the air at the end but like it's so cool. It's just so rudimentarily put together and the rest of them, the smaller ones are as well. But this, because of the size of it, it just shows how sort of agricultural, I guess, the, the build of it is, the manufacturing of it. It's a little bit warm. It might do with a, a heat, a heat. Uh, what is it? A, a, what am I talking about? Heat sink. A heat sink could be done going on, on this because it is sapping quite a bit of current. But you know, it's not. It's not that bad. I can touch it with my finger. It just feels a bit warm. But okay. So we've record. We've talked about this. Oh, it just looks so cool, and it's just so massive. Uh, by the way, the uh, 3D printed uh, dodgy mount. Uh, the link is below. It's awful. I would suggest to design another one yourself. It literally took me about two minutes to put this together, uh, and then and then three hours to print. But yeah. Yeah, it's it's awful it's awful so um we'll get back to the point it's going to be dark now for the rest of the video uh get in focus so what i want to do with this is because this is going into the museum display with all of the other different types of displays that i've got up uh, nixies all of these different types of vfd sized things this i think might have been designed as a replacement for the electronica style clocks that use this separate uh digits it's about a it's a little bit smaller it'll be cool if there's maybe there's an even bigger version of this oh that'll be amazing anyway um what i'm doing now is i can't i'm not very good at coding and i'm naff this is this is what i bash together 
right, so what I'm gonna do is in two weeks from this date that I'm putting up, this is the deadline of the video where I'm gonna shoot it. I'm gonna shoot a live stream, or maybe a video, we'll see, of basically submissions uh, of what you can put on this. I don't really wanna see, I don't, I'm not really, up for putting numbers on it like it's easy to put numbers on it it would just be cool if it could be interesting and not really numbery or it could have a few numbers it just could like maybe it looks a bit alien or something or just truly random or maybe uh, it's like a uh, multiplexing so let's say it says seven it goes it does something fancy well this is just a load of ideas you could do whatever you want but the more dodgy and weird and less numbery uh, the better personally but you could do what you want because it will go on the uh, video so basically I'm suggesting to submit Arduino code uh, and this I'll show you right now what the pinout is so this is the pinout oh so the pinout is right here. So the top segment is pin. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, by the way, because I saw I made up the strip board layout as I was going. Uh, I ended up using most of the analog pins because they were going along. I go. You may see this random dodgy fix. That's because I forgot that analog six doesn't act like a digital output like the rest of them. So. Digital pin 14, which is also A0, is the top. Uh, di digital pin 13 is that one. Digital pin 19, digital pin 15, digital pin 16, 17 and 18. So screenshot that and yeah, it works just like any other uh, seven segment display. It's really quick, so you can do really quick fade in and fade out, whatever, just weird, random, garble, weird stuff. And also, I'm gonna, on A7, wire, uh, Felix mentioned on the live stream that I did yesterday, just mentioning this idea, and people may want analog input. So what I'm gonna do is A7's gonna literally have a wire coming out, which will have an input. Can be anything, it literally, I'm not gonna, I won't wire it to anything, I'm just gonna use my finger in the description. But, you know, who knows, whatever goes on. And with this in mind, so you don't need to use an input, it could literally just be a display of something doing that, or you could include a variable which is on A7, which is like my finger on the end of a wire, or it could be light or something, but I'm not going to put, it, it needs to be uh, working with any sort of sensor, it doesn't really matter. What you need to do is share the code on the forum. The link is below that I've just made a page for this. So you share the forum code on there. And then what I'm gonna do is on that cutoff date, I'm gonna record a video or do a live stream of all of them in there. And then I'm gonna put a vote up uh, of voting which piece of code is gonna stay in it for it to be in the display in the museum. How does that sound? I hope that's a fun little thing. So if you wanna put a piece of code together, uh, make sure your name uh, and all that stuff, So and it's simple and it doesn't require any funky libraries for the Arduino, so it's just simple. I can just pop it on the Arduino and it will just play and load. Uh, that's it. If, it. if it gets too weird and complicated and you know I need to download extra libraries and stuff, I probably won't use it because is you know i'm not very computer man so yeah uh so that's that i think it's really cool if you haven't seen the fran lab videos on these absolutely beautiful machines then definitely go and check it out because it's really really an awesome uh, display and i'll see you on the next video on this so if you want to support these videos and this that and the other it's over on patreon so if you want to join the museum etc much like reuben becker and james brown uh well those are the latest uh, patrons thank you very much they joined couple of days ago. Thank you, Ruben. Thank you, James. So if you want to support these kind of videos and things like this, uh, then please go and check it out over there. There's loads of extra live streams and stuff, and it helps towards, you know, all of the acrylic plastic that needs to go in front of these displays to stop people electrocuting themselves. Anyway, I've been Sam, and this is the Museum of Everything Else. You'll see this very soon in the display case. Have a lovely, have a beautiful, lovely time.